Okay. Let's look at the parabolas. Uh, let me fix some sound problems. So, different look. In context, parabolas are defined. Uh, I actually have a pretty cool definition. So, a parabola is the collection of points. Equidistance or the same distance, it's a Q, from a point called the focus and a line called the directrix. Okay, uh, I have a picture. I'm going to bring it up. I'll talk about it, and you guys can copy it a little bit. Okay, so um, if my focus is right there, and let's say that this distance is two, and then if I go straight down from there, another two, then this point, by definition, has to be on the parabola because the directrix runs here. The directrix is two away from the, this point, and our focus is two away. So this is a point on the parabola. Now, if I make my lines here about the same length, and I'm, I'm off a little bit, I, I, I can see that, but let's pretend that this length is that length. Then this point here, that definitely should be a little bit higher, is also on the parabola. And then if I, let's say, make another line that's this long, and it's at exactly the same length that is this, and this points to the directrix, then I have another dot on the parabola. And then here I have one more. But you can slowly start to see that the problem is taking shape. Uh, now I work better to the right. This would copy on the left as well, obviously, right? So this is how a parabola is formed. Um, then the equation of a parabola comes out of sort of uh, some things that we know already, but we'll we are going to write this a little bit. And so it would be x minus h squared plus or minus 4p y minus k. Okay. Considering that this x is squared, this is what we're familiar with. This is a vertical parabola. So it will open either up or down depending on this thing here. But we can also have parabolas that are y minus k um, equals plus or minus 4p and then x minus h would be here. Notice that h and k stick with the variables, right? So this is one parabola that would be called, it would be horizontal or sideways if you like that better. And we, we've graphed some of these. So I think on the last assignment, we graphed a parabola that looked like that, okay? Um, now, in terms of what do these things stand for? So the vertex would still be h and k. Okay, so my vertex in this picture here, so if I'm going to erase the two for a moment. So in this picture here, this would be my vertex. That dot right there. And the coordinates there would be H and K. Um, the next thing then, uh, if the parabola goes up or to the right, then we know that 4p is larger than 0. So in this case, 4p would have been larger than 0. Um, the parabola will go down or to the left if 4p is less than 0. So, for example, in, in this case, since I have the y that's being squared, I know it's horizontal, if this was a negative, then that would be a sideways parabola to the left. Uh, the focal width, and I'm going to shove that in over there. The focal width will be the absolute value of 4p. 
then the focal width is um, so actually I need, I need to define what P is before I can tell you that. Uh, the focal length is just P. So from here to here is P. In my first example, I had a two there. So the focal length is P. It's the distance from the focus to the vertex. Now the focal width will be four times that. So let's eyeball that. So if I were to eyeball that distance to the left of the focus and then mirror it on the right, and you can see that my parabola is off a little bit, because uh, this dot should now be on the parabola, then, then this dot here should be on the parabola. And that bothers me a little, so I'm going to cheat and go back and fix that. So there, now it works. Um, so this is the focal width, and that length is exactly 4p. So there we go. Now I can mirror it a little bit because I have a little bit of information over there. And I can write that in the picture as well. So the distance from here to here is the focal width. So there, focal width runs from there to there, and that would be 4p. So those are all the parts of the parabola. Okay? All right. Um, so let's do a couple of problems. We're going to identify one, and we're going to identify every part of it. We're going to sketch and identify some parts of the problem, and then we're going to write an equation. So let's say that I have the equation 2x squared plus 16x plus y equals 0. Okay, so we know that this is a parabola, not just because I'm doing a section on parabolas, but also because it's only the x that's being squared. Okay. Um, at this point, you can already safely say that because the x squared, um, because it's only an x squared, we know that it goes up or down. But let's wait and I'm going to rewrite this first before we do too many other things. So if I want to write it in, uh, we do know it's a vertical, and in this form, I want x minus h squared over here. So let's start by moving the y to the other side. Uh, but that needs to be an x over here only. So that 2 needs to, we need to divide that 2 out. So we're going to divide this 2 out. That means I have to do it everywhere. So I have an x squared and 16 divided by 2 is an 8x is negative 1 half y. And then we're going to complete the square. So x plus 4 squared. Now I could do minus 16 here is a negative 1 half y, but I would want that 16 to be over here because look again, I want just x minus h squared. So instead of balancing it, I'm just going to continue to sort of solve right away and then say this is a negative 1 half y plus 16. Okay, so this is one reason we completed, completed the square earlier. So right now, the left side is exactly what I want it to be. So now I need to work on this right side. So I want y minus k, and then whatever I end up in front is going to be the plus or minus 4p. I need a little bit more room. So let's see if um, I can rewrite that. So let's copy what we have on the left, x plus 4 squared. And then here, we're going to divide out by a negative 1 half so that I get a y here. And if I do that, this becomes a negative 32. And that's pretty good. I mean, we can work with that. Um, but in this case, so, so that would be a great way to write the equation. And that would, if I wanted to be nice to you, I would give you the problem in that form. Uh, but because I said we're going to identify all the parts, I do want to write it as, a, in this case, a minus 4p. So I need to do one other conversion, and I want to write a negative one half as a negative four times something. And so this would be one over eight, right? So um, I'm going to rewrite it one more time so that I have all uh, the parts identified the same way as I just gave you the equation. So what did I say? I said I want that to be a negative four times one over eight. And then that's y minus 32. 
All right, so what other parts can I identify now? So it's it's a parabola. We know it's an x squared uh, because that is negative. We know that this opens down. Because we have a negative 4 times 1 over 8, which is less than 0. Um, what else do we know? We know that the vertex is going to be at Keep in mind, we need to change that sign, so that's a negative 4 and clearly 2. I know that the focal length, so that was the distance from the focus to the vertex, that's that 1 over 8. So there is not a lot of room there. Uh, because of that, um, and the vertex being at a negative 432, so, so sort of think about this one. So the vertex is here, it opens, it doesn't open up, but this one opens down. Let's sketch it over here. So we have a vertex here. We know we're moving down. And my focus is going to be a little bit lower. And we know that P, the focal distance, is 1 over 8. Okay, so that means that the focus will be at the same x value, a negative 4. But then it will be at 32 minus 1 over 8, which I can't write it that way. So we're going to write that as a negative 4, and then it will be at 31 and 7 eighths. So that's where the focus is. Okay. And then the directrix will be the other direction. So the directrix would be up here. So the equation for the directrix will be y equals, because it's horizontal, and it will be 32 plus 1 8. So 32 plus 1 over 8, which is just 32, 1 over 8. And the last thing that we can do is we can say that the focal width is going to be 4p, but that's that negative 1 half that we had over here. So that's a negative 1 half. Sorry, focal width is always uh, a positive number. It's just a half. It's the absolute value, right? Um, so this would have been a, a very narrow because this is only supposed to be a half. So, so the problem would look something like this. It would go down very quickly. They would not want to graph this parabola. OK, all right. So that would be what you can do if you were given an equation. You can identify all the parts. Um, so let's sketch one right now. Let's say that you were given an equation. And you are asked to sketch. So we're going to do y plus 1 squared equals 4 times a half. And then x plus 3 here. Keep in mind that this equation probably would have been given to you as 4 times a half is 2x plus 3. Okay, we'll sort of just work both of these. Uh, so what do we know? Uh, you know that it's a parallel because it's a y squared only, but also because it's a y squared, this one will be sideways. You know that because uh, 4 times a half is larger than 0, it will open to the right. And in terms of graphing it, I should probably worry about the vertex, and then we'll see what else we need. So the vertex, and make sure that you switch the order here. The x gives you the first one, negative 3. The y comes out of the y, so that's a negative 1. So let's see how much I have right now, and what else do I need. So here we go. I know that the vertex is at a negative 3, negative 1. I know it opens sideways. And so what other information do I need? Well, if I knew the focal width, which I do know the focal width, so the focal width is 2, because 4 times a half is 2, then if I could just find the focus, then i figure out the rest of this. So the focus here, since the vertex is at a negative 3, negative 1, and it opens sideways, don't, don't graph this, to the right. I know that the focus is to the right of the vertex. Okay. So how far is it to the right? And that will be depending on this one half here, because we know that P in this case is a half, and that is the focal length. 
So the distance from the vertex to the focus is a half. So there we go. The focus is right there. So the focus would have been at a negative two, one, half, negative one. And then I know that the focal width is two. So if I go one, two, up, and if I go two, down, and so in this case, I actually know that this would be one and this would be two down, then both of these dots are on the parabola. And that would be enough sort of sketch this parabola. So there's a slight curvature here, and then we go in this direction. Now, there is one other easy point, or well, two other easy points. You can plug in zero for X and, and solve for Y to get your intercepts. Um, but in this case, this is probably good enough. So there we go. So we sketched it, okay? And then, hey, part two, made a mistake, had to go fix it. So we're gonna find the equation based on a couple of pieces of information. So uh, we wanna find the equation of a parabola. with a focus at 4, 3, and directrix y equals a negative 1. All right, um, that doesn't look like it's a lot of information, but that really is enough. Uh, we're going, I'm going to sketch some things. And then based on that, hopefully we can figure out what we need. So four, three. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four, three is the focus. So let's label that. Focus is at four, three. And the directrix is at a negative one. So that would run this way because y negative one would be horizontal. So let's mark this. Get rid of that one. And then, um, so we know that if you go straight from the focus to the directrix, the focus has to be halfway on that line. So uh, that tells me two things, and we'll figure out the coordinates here in just a second. But not only is it halfway on this line, we also now know that it opens up this way because a parabola always opens up away from the directrix, okay? So I don't want to draw that yet, I'm not quite ready. Um, I do know as well that since this one was at y equals a negative one, the coordinates here would be four negative one. So you can see that the overall distance here, don't copy this right now, this one is going to be four. Okay, and I only want half of that, half of four is two. So if I go down two units, then you have your vertex. So your vertex is right there, and your vertex here is going to be at four and one. Now, we I just said a moment ago that this one is vertical, so this is the normal one for us. X minus eight squared is plus or minus four P and then Y minus K. Um, and I just found the vertex. So X minus four squared equals plus or minus four P and then Y minus one. So the only thing I have left is I need to figure out what P is. And P is the distance from the focus to the vertex, which we calculated a moment ago was two. And so then four times P is four times two is eight. And since the parabola opens up, you know that this has to be positive. So X minus four squared equals plus or minus, that would be a plus, so that would be eight, and then it would be y minus one. And that's it. That's how you find the equation. Thanks.